What's good, Sad Nation? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about all the top skill moves in FIFA Mobile. If you're going to watch any video, this is the video you're going to want to watch. All the skill moves kind of broken down, uh, the, the ways that you're going to want to use them in game. We're going to show you on the hand cam first how to execute the moves um, in the in the season mode. So it'll be a little bit easier to kind of execute them, do all of those different things while we're talking about how to do it. And then we'll go into some gameplay um, against uh, in, in head to head. Um, so we'll be playing against some top opponents in this one, which I think will really help sort of showcase um, how it can work and how it can look in game and we'll talk about the situations where this is helpful what the skill moves can do to help you in the game um, and the positions where you would normally use them so basically we're gonna look at your secondary skill moves uh, most effective of that one is gonna be your flip flap um, rainbow flick sort of effective um, and the heal to heal a little bit as well um, and then we're gonna talk about the roulette we're gonna talk about the fake shot fake shot turn um, and then the close dribbling um, and then the ways that you would kind of want to execute those things in game all right, so first off, uh, with this, before we kind of talk about all the skill moves, each player has two skill moves. So if you're new to FIFA Mobile, um, you might not know this about the players and how to find this. So we're going to talk about this. Uh, if you've been playing for a while, uh, you probably skip ahead to the you know the next part where we sort of show you how to do the rest of it. Um, but uh, you can see here that uh, Lukaku right here has Roulette and he has Heal to Heal. Those are his two skill moves. Um, so Heal to Heal is a decent skill move, but preferably my favorite move is the Flip Flap. So a player that has a Flip Flap, um, that's going to be a really effective secondary skill move and that's the move that you're going to get by swiping up on your sprint skill button. Ronaldinho here, you can see what he has is a rainbow and a roulette. Um, every player's tap move is a roulette. So every player, when you tap the skill button, will do a roulette, and they just all have a different secondary skill move um, that they can use as well. I don't know if Tierney has a different one. Uh, Tierney has heal to heal. I think, some, I think Alaba has heal to heal heal to heal and a few of the defenders sometimes will have one uh the the flick up uh not again not a hugely um helpful move when you're going through that all right so let's go into it let's show you how to do the moves and then we'll show you them all in game as well all right so the first thing we're going to look at here is the roulette so when we get the ball here so the roulette all you want to do is just tap the uh, sprint sp skill button and you can do the roulette and I can do this whether you're sprinting whether you're just standing still one of the nice things about this move though um, is it a helps to open up space and b as you can see there the defender as soon as we do this uh, he freezes so it has a bit of a stun on the defenders which is really helpful for getting some space uh, getting into some uh, you know when you're going down the wing or anything like that so if I was to go down the the wing with Dembele. One of the things that's really helpful with this is if I want to get some movement and I want to get some room, I can hit that button uh, to build up some more space where I can then go ahead and try and fake shot move myself into the box. Um, so this is helpful if you're going against a player who is either auto playing their defense um, or if you're in campaign mode. Uh, and it also kind of works the same way if you're in the middle of the pitch as well. No matter where you are, you can see that the players are going to freeze. So in those videos where you watch us beat the bronze, uh, beat squads with the bronze squads, Roulette became one of the really helpful ones there because because it would stop players in place and you could kind of move around and go through it and again um, that is basically all you do with the roulette really helpful for kind of opening up space getting yourself into a good position especially if you're auto playing against an opponent or if they're auto playing against you Okay, so each player is going to get their own secondary skill. Now, we have this one here with Ronaldinho where he can do the rainbow flick. Now, the rainbow flick, this used to be one of the best moves uh, in FIFA Mobile. And for all the secondary moves, so the rainbow flick, the flip flap, um, the heel to heel, all of them you're going to want to just swipe up on the secondary button as she is doing here and then put the direction that you want to go with it. Now, with this move, um, it's not as effective as it used to be. Um, but with some of the players, you know, again, it's pretty good for opening up space, especially if you're kind of in front of the box. Uh, you want to try and get into a good position it's not ideal for getting past defenders you see even there um, the defender was able to sort of stop that one of the best things that you can use it for um, is just to kind of open up space get you into a better position in the field um, because in a lot of cases it will stun the defenders so you can see here uh, if I want to kind of move along here just kind of open up some room you can kind of build some space there by uh, freezing the defender um, same thing kind of working with the roulette so again I want to kind of make some space for myself but the problem is is because of how long the ball stays in the air in a lot of cases cases defenders will be able to kind of get on it like that so if I go in here if I get that freeze of the defender get myself in a spot get that shot off 
So another move here, not as effective I find, but is the uh, healed heal. But again, it's another good way to sort of um, get you into a position where it's not ideal for getting past a defender, but if you're using it to kind of open up some space, um, kind of use it with the roulette as well to sort of get yourself into a good position. It can help freeze the defender, uh, help make some more movement there, but it's not the best move for sort of going one-on-one -on -one with a defender in a lot of cases um, to get past him. But again, that is the heal to heal. Okay. The next move we have, and probably the best out of all of the uh, secondary skill moves that you have, is the flip flap. So the flip flap, um, that's going to allow you to sort of move from right to left, get past defenders. Uh, can be used really well in tandem um, with the uh, with the roulette to kind of help open up space. This is one of the few secondary skill moves where you can actually use it to get past defenders in a lot of cases when you're going one on one with them. Um, you can kind of move to the outside, especially if you do have that stun with it. It also opens up space. One thing to keep in mind. Um, obviously you could end up running into defenders if, if they're there and if you get in too close you're not going to have time to execute the move um, but it's a really helpful move for sort of opening up that space again secondary move where you swipe up so here we go so what you want to do for the fake shot is you're going to hit this the shoot button and slide to the left and then you want to put it in the direction that you want to go with it so if you wanted to fake shot and turn around backwards what you would do is you would fake shot and then you would move your skill stick in that direction so it's basically fake shot and the direction you want to go with it um, sometimes too if you're close to defenders you can actually use this if you're going at them to meg them so you see Dembele tried to make them there it didn't work out for it that time um, but it's a way that you can actually if you want to try and uh, fake shot mega defender um, you can do that as well so the fake shot that's how you're going to know. one thing to notice here is we went back into our defensive end so we can show you this there is no option to uh, to slide left in your own zone as soon as you cross the line you're going to see that you have that shot option available so the fake shot can't be done in the defensive end it can only be done in the offensive end and again just make sure that when you're doing that you hit, you slide over on it otherwise you'll just end up doing a shot so fake shot again moves that ball back and we cut backwards so it's really effective when you're cutting back um, into uh, into the box getting into that movement getting into that position All right, the last thing that we're going to look at is the close dribble. So to activate this, you double tap on the skill stick. And then once you've done that, now the close dribble is activated. And basically, it's going to be activated until you kind of hit another button to get yourself out of it or take off that button. What I find really helpful uh, for the close dribble is the close dribble is one of those ones that um, it helps put you in a position where you can sort of see the pitch better. It puts your player and it stops them. And in fact, if you double tap and don't hit anything, you also go to this position where you're just not even going to move at all. And so you kind of can stop your play, which is hard to do in any other mode other than when you go into the close dribble. So again, what we do is we double tap on the skill stick. That allows us to sort of see the pitch a little bit better. It's not great for getting past defenders, but it is helpful for sort of giving you some time to sort of see the players that you want to pass around to move the ball and and kind of use them together so if i go with this ronaldinho he's going to get in this position i can kind of see where the players i want to pass the ball are to um it turns this helps us get away from the defender but not ideal if you're trying to get past the defender so i wouldn't necessarily use this to try and get past defenders but you can see okay hey i see i have a player there find them in the box take the shot get the goal all right so we're going to move this ball up so again, Ronaldinho, we're going to go with this one. Um, so once we get into the offensive end, we can start to use the fake shot. Gets us some room, finds that space, helps us get into there. One of the most effective places for it um, is if you're coming down the wing, you can use this especially if you have some time to, to get past the defenders. And sometimes you'll get past them. Sometimes, though, that will happen and you get a corner. So either way, it's a win-win because corners tend to be one of the, you know, uh, an, an advantage usually goes to the offense on the corners when you're trying to put them in. Um, so that's one way that you can kind of build that up. Just be careful, obviously, if you take the corner that you watch that counterattack that can happen from it. Um, so anyways, again, we're going to go with this. So move that out to the outside. So we got Ronaldinho. We're going to kind of roulette to get ourselves some space there. Then we're going to try and move into the box by fake shotting it. Uh, Mendy stays on that. We can use the fake shot again to move some movement in there um, to try and get into the box. We're going through it. Now, the other thing we can use, double tap on this, build up some space. So you can see he's just going to kind of jockey us as he goes through. So that gives us time to find some space. Tells us who we want to kind of find on there. Pass the ball around. Use that. So this is where I really like close dribble. Uh, helps us to kind of control the pitch and pass the ball around as we're trying to get to the players. All right.
So again, when we're going down the wing, uh, you can use the roulette. If they're auto-playing, you can see it kind of freezes their defender a bit. Uh, Ronaldinho, when you have a player on you, you probably just want to stop and turn that. Um, but you can use the fake shot if you got players there uh, to get yourself into the box. Roulette to get there, and then that will give you time. Oh my goodness. Time to take the shot and get the shot off. So you can kind of combine all of those moves, sort of get yourself into a spot uh, where you're going to be able to take that shot. So you can see there, we were uh, very close to, shoot, uh, to, to hitting it. We just need to hit that shot at the end. All right, so we're going to move that ball up. Ronaldinho, we're going to double tap to kind of see that space better. Find that ball to Lukaku. Use that roulette to get us into space. Uh, stop and turn it there to get that ball out to Dembele. Dembele is going to go down the wing. Move that ball out to Lutmanen. Lutmanen is going to go there. We're going to try that fake shot to get into the box. That finds us some room. That finds us that space. Roulette gets us in that uh, movement. Gets, we get two tries on it. We got a little lucky there. Um, but you can see basically it's a combination of all of those skill moves that we did. Um, open up the space with your double tap to do the close dribble. Uh, use your uh, fake shot to get yourself into the box. And then Roulette to open up a little bit of room when you're in there as well. Uh, it looks nice. It feels good, and you can, in a lot of times, get some goals going on there as well. And it does, and then you don't have to just cross the ball into the box. All right, so again, Lukaku to try and make that room and movement. We're going to use our roulette to get on there. Uh, you can heal the heel. You can do kind of whatever you want. When you're in the box, though, you might as well just finesse that thing past the keeper. So you can see that roulette helped to kind of just gain a little bit of room. You don't want to use it too much, but if the defender's closing in on you, um, you can kind of try to use that to open up that room in that space and get yourself away from the other card, um, especially if you think it's going to be a close, tight foot race between the two of you, and especially if you know that your opponent is auto-playing. If they're auto-playing, their defense you are basically guaranteed to get yourself that goal all right so there you have it our tips and tricks on the skill moves in FIFA. hopefully this helped you find some skill moves uh that you like to use uh and and, and working and getting in the box getting in those goals and scoring and winning in some head-to-head -head in fifa mode been a pleasure to always stop deep